ever dreamt of building your perfect home? Well, Mr. Blanding surely did in the 1948 film that shares his name. This classic comedy follows the misadventures of a man with a dream and a blueprint. But hold on to your seats because there's more to this tale than just bricks and mortar. The movie unfolds with a delightful mix of humor, surprise, and a touch of sadness. As Mr. Blandings embarks on his quest for the ideal home, you'll find yourself chuckling at the quirky situations he stumbles into. Yet beneath the laughter, there are moments that might tug at your heartstrings or leave you in disbelief. Now, here's the hook you won't want to miss the funny, shocking, and even sad twists that lie ahead. So, when was the first time you watched this movie? Can you recall the laughter or the disbelief? We're curious to know your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic journey. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Get ready for an entertaining ride with Mr. Blandings as he tries to turn his dream house into reality. Keep watching for the unexpected turns in this classic tale of home-building adventures. Grant and Loy, two seasoned performers, shine in Mr. Blanding's Builds His Dream House, a charming comedy released in 1948. The film follows Jim Blanding's, an advertising executive played by Cary Grant, who, along with his wife Muriel, decides to leave their cramped New York apartment for a dream house in Connecticut. However, the journey to their ideal home becomes a cascade of challenges, bills, and frustrations. The chemistry between Grant and Loy is evident throughout the film, making it an enjoyable watch. The narrative is a satire on the challenges of home construction in the late 1940s, offering a humorous perspective on the pitfalls of pursuing one's dream residence. Melvin Douglas, portraying Grant's attorney and friend, adds a touch of wry amusement to the mix, complementing the comedic tone. While the film may not be a laugh-out-loud comedy, it has its moments of humor, particularly in the interactions between the characters. Myrna Loy, despite having a relatively understated role, infuses her character with color and vitality. Grant, as the lead, delivers a polished performance, carrying the lion's share of both lines and acting with remarkable aplomb. Mr. Blanding's Builds His Dream House provides a glimpse into the social dynamics of the late 1940s and serves as a cautionary tale for those contemplating the construction of their dream homes. The film's lighthearted approach and well-executed comedic timing make it an enjoyable way to spend an hour or two offering a snapshot of a bygone era. In summary, the collaborative efforts of Grant and Loy, coupled with the satirical take on home construction, make this film a classic comedy despite not aiming for slapstick or heavy drama. It may lack a profound message, but it remains a delightful cinematic experience, capturing the essence of its time. Screen Directors Playhouse aired a 30-minute radio version of the movie on July 1, 1949, with Cary Grant reprising his role. This radio broadcast allowed people to enjoy Mr. Blanding's amusing adventures again. The story of the film is inspired by real events. Eric Hodgins, who wrote the novel and lived Mr. Blanding's misadventures, actually built the dream house with his wife in New Milford, Connecticut. The house in the Mariel section of town was sold for $1-$2 in 2004, showing the real-world connection to the movie. An interesting personal note is that Jennifer Grant, Eric Hodgins' daughter, had her own daughter, Davian Adele Grant, on November 23, 2011, adding another family connection to the movie. Cary Grant and Myrna Loy, experienced actors, give strong performances in Mr. Blanding's Builds His Dream House. Their chemistry enhances the viewer's experience. Grant, playing Jim Blanding's, deals with the challenges of building his dream home, while Loy, as Muriel, adds to the story with her understated yet lively presence. The film satirizes the complexities of home construction in the late 1940s, using humor to highlight the challenges of pursuing one's dream home. Melvin Douglas, playing Grant's attorney and friend, adds a humorous touch to the movie, creating a well-rounded cast. Though not a belly-laugh comedy, the film has its funny moments, especially in the character interactions. Grant's polished performance carries the film, supported by Loy's colorful portrayal. Together, they offer a glimpse into the social dynamics of the time and caution those dreaming of building their homes. In summary, Mr. Blanding's Builds His Dream House is a classic comedy that captures its era. The real-life connection, actor's chemistry, and satirical take on home construction make it an enjoyable movie experience. The 1948 film Mr. Blanding's Builds His Dream House is a classic comedy featuring Cary Grant and Myrna Loy as the lead characters Jim and Muriel Blanding's. 
The storyline revolves around their decision to leave their cramped New York apartment for a dream house in Connecticut, leading to a cascade of challenges, bills, and frustrations in the pursuit of their ideal home. Grant and Loy, seasoned performers, bring their chemistry to the forefront, making the film an enjoyable watch. While not a laugh-out-loud comedy, it offers moments of humor, particularly in the interactions between the characters. Melvin Douglas, portraying Grant's attorney and friend, adds a wry amusement, contributing to a well-rounded cast. The film's narrative serves as a satire on the challenges of home construction in the late 1940s, providing a humorous perspective on the pitfalls of realizing one's dream residence. Grant, in the lead role, delivers a polished performance, handling the challenges of building his dream home, while Loy, with her understated yet lively presence as Muriel, adds depth to the story. A noteworthy aspect is the real-world connection to the movie. Inspired by true events, the film's story mirrors the misadventures of Eric Hodgins, who, along with his wife, built the actual dream house in New Milford, Connecticut. The house, later sold for one two million in 2004, underscores the tangible link between fiction and reality. Cary Grant reprised his role in a 30-minute radio version of the movie, aired on screen director's Playhouse on July 1, 1949. This radio broadcast allowed audiences to enjoy Mr. Blanding's amusing adventures once again. Additionally, an interesting family connection emerges through Jennifer Grant, Eric Hodgins' daughter, whose own daughter, Davian Adele Grant, was born on November 23, 2011. In summary, Mr. Blanding's Builds His Dream House stands as a classic comedy capturing the essence of its era. The film's real-life connection, the chemistry between the actors, and its satirical take on home construction contribute to an enjoyable cinematic experience, reminding audiences of the challenges and humor inherent in pursuing one's dream home. Amidst the cast of the film, Cary Grant reprised his role as Jim Blandings for a 1951 radio program. His wife at the time, Betsy Drake, joined as Muriel Blandings, while Gail Gordon played Bill Cole in the weekly series Mr. and Mrs. Blandings. This extension of the story onto the airwaves provided another way for audiences to enjoy the couple's amusing escapades. Venice High School in Los Angeles, the school of one of the film's stars, has its own claim to fame. Not only does a statue honor this alum, but the school has appeared in productions like the original Grease, American History X, and music videos by the Chemical Brothers and Britney Spears. Venice High School, showcased in various media, adds an interesting layer to the film's background. The film's roots delve into reality as the story mirrors the experiences of Eric Hodgins, who wrote the novel inspiring the movie. Hodgins, living out Mr. Blanding's misadventures, actually built the dream house with his wife in New Milford, Connecticut. In 2004, this tangible link to the film was sold for one two million, emphasizing the connection between fiction and the real estate market. In a twist of family ties, Jennifer Grant, Eric Hodgins' daughter, contributes to the personal connections surrounding the film. Her daughter, Davian Adele Grant, was born on November 23, 2011, creating yet another familial link to the cinematic narrative. These interwoven relationships, both on and off the screen, add a personal touch to the broader context of the movie. Cary Grant's role as Jim Blandings in the radio version solidifies the popularity of the film, allowing audiences to revisit the comedic charm of the character. As the last survivor among the Star Trek actors born in the 19th century, Grant's influence extends beyond his role in this classic comedy. In summary, the behind-the-scenes connections, real-world inspirations, and familial ties provide a richer understanding of the film's legacy. The movie transcends the screen, intertwining with the lives of its creators and actors, creating connections that enhance the audience's appreciation for this classic comedy. Enjoy the layers of history and personal connections embedded in this cinematic gem.